Now we're in for a very special treat. We do have Dr. Deep Sea Joseph Dettori here with us. Welcome to the show. My understanding you're still underwater right now. Still underwater like the Energizer Bunny. It just keeps going. <laughs> okay, so I guess the first question on everyone's mind, if they haven't been following you and what you've been up to is why? What inspired you to do this and why are you doing this? Threefold reason, the bottom line is that it's a culmination of a lifetime of my work. Basically spent 28 years in the Navy, decided to come out of that, get a PhD in biomedical engineering. And now my whole overall concept is to learn what happens to the human body when you stick it in an isolated, confined, extreme environment. So I have a PhD in biomedical engineering and I'm chasing that dream down the road. So we're taking blood, urine, saliva, all of these regular tests on a daily basis. And I said 100 days. I said 100 days because it really is going to take us 200 days to get to Mars. So we need to figure this out before we get on that plane and go to Mars. And then the second reason is, truthfully, we need to reach out to the kids and talk to them about science, technology, engineering, and math. And let them know that it's kind of cool to do research in a fun environment in situ. And finally, I get to talk to all my PhD and MD friends, and we talk about protecting, preserving, and rejuvenating the marine environment. And your cool friends on TV, too. Yeah, don't forget about us. <laughs> uh, we're, you guys. Yes, we're loving the commitment. This is amazing. You actually posted, though, a video online of your morning routine, living underwater. Break it down for <laughs> us. Walk us through your living space. What do you do? What is this morning routine that consists of? So I'm, I'm basically, I'm making an omelet and I basically, I have three eggs every morning and that's my jam, you know, but, okay. but I'm a creature of habit. I mean, uh, through the 28 years in the Navy, it was one of these like, just eat what you can and subsist on whatever you eat uh, and don't worry about it. So I'm trying to not live like a savage down here and make it a little bit nicer. So you do a little omelet and my wife throw a little cheese on top. Mwah. Oh, you know, yeah. getting it's, tips from Gordon Ramsay, you know? <laughs> pretty ironic that those eggs are free range and you're in a box underwater. But <laughs> um, I want to ask, um, you're doing this in the name of science. What have you learned so far? I mean, in, in, in kind of like in the middle of this experiment. I mean, is there anything also that you think would shock people about your time living in underwater? What would people be surprised to hear? Well, would you be shocked to know that my cholesterol is down 72 points? What? Would you be shocked to know that every single inflammatory marker in my body is reduced by almost half? What? How about my oxidative stress cut in two thirds? <laughs> my stem cells are up, my telomeres are up, my collagen synthesis is up, my sleep. I am sleeping between 60 and 66% in deep and REM sleep. It's crazy. Wow. Wow. So you're doing better. You're thriving under there. Yeah, I know. I, I want to I stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's one thing, though, that you miss uh, from maybe the land that you wish you would have taken with you underwater? Oh, good question. Uh, absolutely. My girlfriend, unquestionably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to get killed for saying that, but that's okay. I'm sure no, she no. misses you, too. Yeah. I don't see why she would get mad at that. Yeah. Um, you're, you're like... You've already set a record, okay? You're going to stay there until it's been 100 days, maybe more. I don't know. We'll see how you feel at the end of this. But, but, but what do you want to do next after this? Do you already have other plans? Or, or are you just like, let me get to the end of this, knock out some you know, more free-range chickens, yeah. chill here, and then we'll, we'll figure everything else out? Wait till you see what I do next. Uh, so right after this, so what I'm doing is I'm testing stuff for space travel. Yeah. Here we are. You go up into space and... I'm trying to train with resistance bands while I'm down here in the ZRG environment that I'm also in, but I'm using these type resistance band technologies that close off the arm and they, they basically pinch off the artery. From this point down, they squeeze. When you do that, you work out and you tire the muscle more quickly, mm. which means that even in a zero G environment, I can increase something called nitric oxide synthase. Now that's a really big complicated word for something that makes your veins and arteries go like this, mm -hmm. which is great. If you can vasodilate, you can remove some of that lactic acid buildup. And then I'm gonna go fly this on a zero G aircraft. Ooh. See how it works there. That is so cool. You how are like, exciting. You, are, you are doing these kinds of experiments yeah. for like the benefit of future generations of it. humans. That must feel so cool. Yeah, we learned no, so much. Your story, if your story doesn't inspire the next, next generation of kids, change it. 
Yeah. Just reach out and change it. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I said, I want to do that. So that is so Aww. cool. A little Tuesday motivation that we all needed. Joseph Dettori, thank you so much for talking to us here on the show. We appreciate your time. Good luck. Thank you very much. Every day is an adventure. If you'll follow me on Dr. Deep Sea, you can keep up with it. Thanks for following, guys. Every day is a winding road. <laughs>